Hey folks, welcome to another video from the Global Mapper Pro series of videos. In this episode, we try to show you how to add your layers to the software and do some basic settings on your layers. Hope this video will be helpful for those who are interested in Global Mapper. Okay, for adding layers to the Global Mapper software, there are several methods. The first and general one is the open data file. By using the open data file, you can import your layers into the software. As you can see, its icon appears on the top of the main window by default. If you haven't had the open data file icon among the toolbars, you can go to the file tab and select open data or even press Ctrl O on your keyboard. In addition to the open data file, there are various methods of importing data into the software here. And finally, by using the open data file option, we import our layers into the software. At first, you can choose a specific format to filter all the available files based on the selected format. Using this way, it shows you the files with that format alone. Here we select the shapefile format as an example. If a folder doesn't have such a layer, it won't be displayed for us. So we go to the next folder. There are a few layers here which by selecting each one, we can import it to the Global Mapper software. Here, we've imported the layer of provinces. By using the overview map option, we can have a general view of the area. As with any other software, there is also a zoom tool that can be used to zoom anywhere on the layer. And there's also a pan option that helps us move on the map and have a good control over the layer. The full view option fit the map to the view window. The feature info tool allows us to query the layer. In other words, it gives the information of each part of the layer that we select. If we right-click on our layer, we can have more tools. For example, using Vector option, we can make changes on our vector layer. First, we can change the label of the layer. By turning off this option, the label of our vector layer will be turned off. In this section, we can change the label and select the desired field as a label to be displayed on the vector layer. The next tab is Elevation. If your layer has elevation, you can select the field with elevation from this section. Since we don't have elevation in this layer, we'll let it go. But if you'd like to choose, specify the elevation field in the attribute table in the first item, set units and models, that's it. The next part is Feature Type. Here we specify the feature type of the vector layer. You can specify it based on your own layer.
The next tab is Layer Projection. Here is the section where we can choose or change the coordinate system of the layer. We can also replace the coordinate system of another layer with the coordinate system of the imported layer, or add datum and change units. The next section is Area Styles. Here we can do the symbology of the layer. In this section, you can select the saved style and insert it on your layer. The Fill Pattern option can be used to select different types of patterns for the vector layer. You can choose one of the patterns based on your needs and taste. We also choose the color to make it look more attractive. We can also increase or decrease the width of the lines of the vector layer. We we'll right click on the layer and select layer attribute. You can see all the features here. Each field has its own information. And there is a field for each separate province. The columns specify the specific information of that field. Settings can be made in this section. Edit, delete, and so on. If you want to add a raster layer to the software, we need to select TIFF or all formats. Here we import the raster layer into the software. As you can see, the raster layer can be displayed well here. 